of today. And uh, we will listen now to Dusa and Bobcat, Joel Honeyman, uh, about leading the charge. How, I think, electric components will be charged by technology made by Dusan Bobcat. The floor Thank is you. yours, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, pleasure to be here today talking to you about transforming the sustainable job site by, uh, by Bobcat Company, our all-electric compact track loader, the Bobcat T7X. But we can't talk about electrification until we talk about the first part of this, and that's the word sustainable. Because we face a practical challenge in sustainability. When we go out and talk to customers, they tell us the same thing. If you're going to be sustainable and bring out sustainable solutions such as an electric product, it has to deliver value to them. There is a perception out there that sustainability trades off all the other things that this great equipment has done for many, many years. And quite frankly, they tell us this. If you don't believe me, it's right behind me. We face an uphill challenge. We read the blogs, we see all kinds of information. It's not just us, it's every other manufacturer out there. You know, electric machines, they're never gonna work. They won't work in cold weather. They won't hold a charge. It'll take me six days to recharge it. Yes, that's actually one of the comments on here. Um, so this is part of our challenge. This is part of our challenge as a manufacturer is that we have to be able to deliver value and deliver sustainability both at the same time. Now. What I would offer up to you, though, is what does sustainability really mean? So let's break this down a little bit more, because I think if we do that, we might be able to tell a story to our customers that's a little more compelling. So first, when, when we all think about sustainability, right, we think about what? No emissions, right? That's no tailpipe emissions. We're reducing hydrocarbons. But what about lower noise? You know, what about the lower noise that these types of machines and technologies might offer in the future? And then, of course, reduced operator fatigue. The opportunity for us, if you remove the, if you remove an engine, remove the hydraulics, remove vibration, it's a better experience for an operator out there. And then how about eliminating the hydrocarbons altogether? Eliminating drips and leaks and all those other things that happen on job sites. We get those complaints, it's global, and it's increasing in magnitude. People do not want drips and leaks, all these other things associated with hydrocarbons that come along with. Now. I'll offer up for you one other sustainability thing that you may not have thought about. And that is, what about instant power? How is, that, how is that sustainable, you might ask? Well, instantaneous power, these platforms allow. If you think about diesel and hydraulics, you're revving up an engine, you're powering up a pump, you have parasitic losses due to hydraulics, you have heat generated. We just heard that in the talk here a couple, uh, couple of talks ago, talks about the challenges of hydraulics and optimizing that platform in these, in these types of solutions. And so all of these together amount to sustainability, but the challenge is, can we combine them together without trading off and to be able to deliver a different product, a better product for our customers? So, what if sustainability is actually the secondary benefit? And you might be going, well, what, what does that mean, a secondary benefit? And I've got the example for you. Think about Tesla, right? Think about electric vehicles, okay? If somebody's showing off their electric car, maybe you own an electric car, what are they showing you? Do they pull you to the back of the car and show you there's no tailpipe? Is that what they show you? No, probably not. Do they show you the inside of the cabin? No, not particularly, because Tesla's isn't really that great. Uh, but what do they show you? They show you this. It goes zero to 60 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds. They show you power. This is why people buy electric vehicles. This is why they want electrification. Oh, by the way, it's also sustainable. They have already made the decision in automotive to trade off the benefit, to say, you know what? We're gonna deliver power and another promise and oh, by the way, sustainability comes along with. And that's the thought process that we had when we thought about the all-electric compact track loader, the Bobcat T7X. We thought about this, and we created a goal for ourselves on an all-electric solution. Can we create a work machine that can be pr productive and powerful and sustainable? Remember, there's an and in there. It's not an or. And what you saw in the earlier comments was is our customers and other people's customers are telling us that's a trade-off. I have to trade that off. I'm here to tell you you don't have to trade that off. 
Because what we did in our value proposition is we have a machine that has uptime and performance like nothing else in the industry. It's an operating environment that's quiet and comfortable. It's easier to produce and maintain and still meets the environmental and sustainability goals. That's what we have to deliver to our customers. Those skeptics out there, in order to get them to, to embrace this type of technology, we have to deliver to them value. Okay, so let's break it down a little bit more. Let's talk about this great machine, the Bobcat T7X. So first of all, you'll notice it, it looks like one of our ordinary compact track loaders, but we've taken the hydraulics out. This is the, what we call the work group. These are normally um, uh, hydraulic cylinders. They've been, those have been replaced with all electric linear ball screw actuators for the lift and tilt. We have controls in this machine through battery management, power distribution, and our Bobcat operating system. This is the control of the machine. We also have a 60 and a half um, hour, kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. That's the power behind the machine. And of course, it wouldn't be all electric without all electric drive motors. Much of the system is provided by Moog. There is a leading manufacturer of aerospace and aircraft types of components. We've partnered up together to be able to create a totally new solution using totally new technology. Now, as I mentioned, it looks like one of our ordinary products. And if you're familiar with construction equipment, it looks like the common loader. Well, let's go inside, let's take a look, and you will see why this machine is so different. So what we did here was, is the picture behind me is our ordinary, or I shouldn't say ordinary, but our current T76. This is our diesel hydraulic machine. We've lifted up the cabin for you so you can get a look inside. This is the front view. You can see all those hoses and the tube lines. You can see the pump assembly off the front. You can't even see the engine. That's behind that. There's a lot of stuff there, right? Yeah, this is how you do it. It's compact equipment. You got to put a lot of stuff in there to make it run with all that stuff. This is the picture you will remember. This is the T7X. This is the same picture underneath the cab. And you will note how clean that is. There is nothing under there. That gray box is, in fact, the battery. You see the charger up front and six wires. So that allows us to do a lot of different things with this platform. And again, as I mentioned, we took, the, we took the engine out, we put the battery in, we removed all those hydraulics, all those tube lines and hoses that might leak over time and break. Those are all gone. What that means is 40% pure parts. Sounds like a pretty good value proposition. Also, when we eliminate all those things, we reduce fluids. One and a half gallons of eco-friendly fluid compared to 57 gallons of oil and diesel fuel in our uh, diesel hydraulic equivalent. No, no uh, engine vibration or hydraulic whine. Yeah, I would ding on that too. Um, and there's no noise, just like now. So, you know, it's a great platform, but the other, the other great part about this is 65% of those traditional fares that we would see in construction equipment are eliminated. And those are engine hydraulics because, well, it doesn't have an engine or hydraulics. So it's a very different platform. Again, looks the same on the outside, very different on the inside. So the battery technology, we get lots of questions about battery technology. This is a lithium ion pack. It's in a stainless steel case. The cells are encased in plastic. It's very robust. It's made for our application. This is construction equipment. It's not a Tesla. So it has to be built for rugged, ruggedness. Again, I mentioned the battery power. Charge time. If it's completely drained, it takes 10 hours to charge. It's a six kilowatt hour charger currently. The battery life, the overall life of this battery is very robust. 2,000 to 2,500 charge cycles roughly equates to 8,000 hours of, run, of total runtime before the battery is um, eliminated. And so that's a very long life. Of course, sustainability in the battery as well, 85% of the components are able to be recycled. And that's part of our agreement with the battery manufacturer Green Machine. So a great technology, a very robust platform in the battery. Now. All of this technology allows us to do some really cool things with software. And so this is an intelligent power platform. The first thing we did is, is we put different operation modes into this machine. There are three of them. And the first one allows for some battery conservation. There's a, 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 a midterm mode, which is more of a work mode. And then we also have what we call this really cool beast mode. 
And this is awesome because what we do is we put full electric current to the drives when the lift arm's in a certain position. So when operators are going into a pile of dirt or they're digging really hard, they can hit a button and they can get instantaneous cur current, full current to those drives. It gives us 10x power of that machine. And so again, through software, we can optimize the platform. Can't do that with hydraulics as easily. Um, and of course, no recovery time. Now, the great part about all this is, is we're using two-way telematics. We can do updates on the fly. We can download different feature sets. We have a really uh, interesting bucket shake feature that we've uh, introduced and uh, we can download that. We can provide that out to the customer. So it's a platform we can optimize for how the customer wants to use the machine in their applications. Again, you can't do that with traditional hydraulics and engines. You're changing valves and cartridges. It's just not as easy to do and optimize. So one of the other big questions and, the co and the, uh, maybe the complaint that we saw in the beginning there was runtime. How long is the runtime on these machines? Is my battery going to last? Well, it, in order to look at runtime, you got to break down the job site a little bit. You got to break down how a contractor actually uses the machine, which is how much time are they actually using it? How much time are they in there actually physically using the machine? And then also how much time is it idling? I'll get to that, but there's a lot of time spent idle on a job site. The actual work time, the worker may be out of the machine. They might be doing a task. Of course, they take breaks. They answer calls or going to lunch, all these other things. It all adds up to the entire work day when we break it all down. So, Let's go a step further and talk now about the T7X. It has a four hour continuous runtime. So for four hours, you can run that battery. Okay, here's the interesting part about an EV machine. It never idles. As soon as you let off of those joysticks, if you're not working the machine, it doesn't consume energy. There is no idle on an electric machine, at least on our electric machine. This is a powerful thing because there's a lot of idle time in construction sites and operating equipment. Now, here's the other reality when we break it down further. If you look at contractors and rental and hire companies, on average, about 50% of compact loaders, they get about 300, years, 300 hours or less in a year. So, you know, it's roughly a few hours a day. And in our average usage we look at, it's about three hours a day. And guess what? Of that time listed, one third of it is at idle. It's at the RPM of 1300 or 1300 RPM or less. What that means is effectively 50% of all the loaders out there are running about two hours a day. So a four hour continuous battery, it will last a work day. Now, is it for everyone? Are there applications where they use more? Absolutely. You know what? This machine's not for you. You know what? This machine though, is for most contractors in their day-to-day -day work though. And that's the, that's the power of this platform. And that's what happens when you add these technologies together. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of the other features. I, I mentioned quiet. This is a quiet machine. There is uh, uh, greatly reduced, if eliminated, noise and vibration. You know, hydraulics has a particular whine to it. There's a particular... Um, um, pitch with the engines and so that is eliminated and again as I mentioned there's no idle we get a lot of comments from customers telling us I work at night I work in the morning there might be a landscaper moving snow and we've all maybe have heard that if you live in the uh, in the northern climates and so snow removal very noisy and loud they would love this machine no noise being able to do these jobs work longer work harder and easily converse with people inside and outside of the cabs I just mentioned winter. This machine is ready to work in the winter. We get lots of questions about the battery. As I mentioned before, this battery is in that nice stainless steel case. That's really good for trapping some heat in during the winter time. So if you're plugged in and charging, the battery actually stays warm. It's instantaneous when it wakes up. And if it's not plugged in, even if it's cold, the battery cells warm on their own. Another great thing our, our operators like is, is in the cabin, the electric heater is, is basically instantaneous heat because it's a heating coil. So typically what happens with contractors on cold days, what do they do? They start up their machine, 15, 20 minutes of idle to warm up the machine, get the heater going. This is eliminated with this type of technology. Now, combine all this together, guess what? Lower cost of ownership. 
Now I have my example up here is in U.S. dollars and, um, and U.S. figures, but the rough math says this is one-tenth of the operating cost of a diesel hydraulic equivalent. And this includes fuel, hydraulic, hydraulic flu fluid, and as, as well as against the electricity costs. Something we haven't factored in here yet is just the time, downtime. And we talk to rental and hire companies, they, they tell us time utilization is critical, machines are out for regular maintenance, they're out for maybe some of those uh, other maintenance items that might get eliminated, and here this machine has more and more uptime compared to those. And so again, another part of the value proposition. Okay, yes, this machine is commercially available. We shipped our first commercial unit uh, here in September to Sunbelt Rentals, which is in Cal in, uh, located in California. Uh, a number of other machines are going into California for some ESG types of customers, environmentally conscious customers. But I will tell you to a T, people who run these machines and we, and we take them out to customers, they get out of the machine, every single one of them. They might be a skeptic going in, they come out, they got a smile on their face. They can't believe they had that experience, that quiet experience with instantaneous torque and power in that, in that machine. And that is the promise that we're trying to deliver here. That's what we're trying to do is to say, you know what, sustainable, it can mean advantages. It can bring all these other things together. And guess what? We have supporters in that. They have experienced this machine and they tell us about the promise that this machine can provide and this technology can provide to being able to deliver sustainability from emissions as well as power and performance, which is what they're getting paid for. And they can do both at the same time. So as I close up here today, um, I have a short video which shows a little bit of the machines in action and just a couple of comments, one from a dealer and one from an early customer that talks about electrification and electric products. I mean, it's just a whole different level now with electric machines. I can see the future in this. I'm surprised at how quiet it is, and it has a lot of power because I didn't think it would. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty skeptical about it, but after operating them and actually feeling the reaction time of these machines, it's phenomenal. All right, Bobcat is in the outdoor area. We have a T7X that's running out there. We're in booth FN817. It's only about a mile and a half walk from here. Uh, if you want to get your exercise, you can go out there. It's a great demonstration if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, and you can talk to our teams out there. And we're glad to discuss with you the advantages. So with that, I say thank you very much.